to nomads survive. At the heart of most sci-fi lies a system for faster than light travel, which enables space exploration. In my world, nomads travel between star systems and discover new planets. But what technology allows them to traverse the galaxy, covering hundreds of light years in mere months? I'm far from the first to face this question, so it feels like it's already been answered for me. Really though, I'm just taking for granted the designs of others, which can serve as very powerful storytelling devices. Traveling faster than light is, of course, impossible. So writers have had to come up with their own creative solutions to explain how their characters are able to travel such vast interstellar distances. For Nomad Survive, I tried designing a system for FTL travel that feels like it isn't too easily accessible and the cost of travel is still high, not just in terms of money, but also in terms of time. Still, I don't want it to be a huge burden, so I'm trying to find the right balance in terms of storytelling. The starting inspiration was a two-word concept, cosmic sailing, which sounds quite poetic, and the short phrase already gives an idea of what it might be. I looked at a few sable designs to start off, trying to think of a way to transform one into a spacecraft without making it look like just a flying boat. I like the thought of a spaceship having sails, but it would be even better if there was a, something of an explanation for their purpose, which can then inversely inform the spaceship's design. This led me down a path of researching some of NASA's developments and their hopes for the future of space travel. Currently, they have a project called Solar Electric Propulsion, which provides a perfect scientific grounding for my developing design. Depending on the level of realism desired in their fictional world, writers have come up with different levels of believability for the impossible task of explaining FDL travel. On one side of the spectrum, we have Christopher Nolan's movie Interstellar, which takes place nearby on, in the future on, on Earth. The movie is striving for quite strong plausibility, so the impossibility of FTL travel is solved by simply being avoided. Instead, the immense distances traveled by the spacecraft are explained by leading it through a wormhole which warps space-time and allows it to travel from point A to B without ever traveling faster than the speed of light. Scientists theorize that the potential existence of wor wormholes exists in our universe, so it's quite easy for us to dispend our disbelief and play along with the movie without questioning the wormhole as a plot device. On the other side of the spectrum is Star Wars, which is truthfully more of a fantasy story than science fiction. Spaceships are equipped with a hyperdrive, which is a very ambiguous device that doesn't really explain itself or try to quantify how much it accelerates a spaceship. It has a lot less depth and there's almost no feeling of cost because it's very wide, widely avail available and trips don't appear to take very long. So for Nomad Survive, I'd like to try to come up with a system that's somewhere in between these two extremes, one of them being more fun and the other being more grounded and believable. Spacecraft using solar electric propulsion collect energy from the sun to generate the thrust, converting solar energy into electric power. So. Taking that as a base for my design, I wanted to incorporate some kind of solar panels as the sails of my spacecraft. Their purpose is to collect energy, which is likewise used as a power source for the ship. The nomads call their spaceship space tourers, which they use for their voyages to new planets. The space tourer launches from a planet's orbit using its own thruster power. It then opens its sailing solar panels so that both sides are exposed to starlight and constantly absorbing it. That light energy is immediately sensed toward the light accelerator, a device in this universe developed to speed up the photons and consequently propelling the space tourer faster than the speed of light. The light accelerator is similar to a hyperdrive from Star Wars or a Hawking drive from Hyp the book Hyperion or any no other number of sci-fi stories that rely on a gimmick to explain how faster-than-light travel is possible. A small light accelerator, such as the one that is used in a space tour, is capable of speeding up photons by up to 300 times their speed. For reference, if this existed in our universe, traveling with a space tour 
would allow us to travel one light year in about 28 hours. Of course, in the universe of dying stars, they measure time differently. Instead, tracking Apollonius's orbit around the star Omuna as a reference for the distance light travels in one of their years. Before settling on this particular version of the Space Tourer's visual design, I tested some other options with differently shaped bodies, panels and overall geometries. The final design for a Space Tourer is, very min is a very minimalistic approach. A metal tube that contracts at one end, topped off by a singular aperture. Attached to the narrow end are the four moving solar panels. I have drawn a section cut through the space tour to show the distribution of spaces with the command cabin at its tip and the other spaces toward the back nearer the light accelerator. The space tour is also capable of holding up to four gliders and other minor vehicles which can then later be used upon arrival on the planet's surface. Space tours, however, are still relatively slow for the nomads who need to travel to new star systems, some of them hundreds or even thousands of light years away. For such longer expeditions, a space tour is not enough because the time needed to reach the destination would be longer than a person can survive. So, I designed a second, much bigger type of spacecraft, which they call a space tracer. A space tracer works just like a space tour, but it's much bigger in size. It's equipped, it's equipped with two significantly larger contracting solar panels and a stronger light accelerator which is three times as effective as that of a space tour. Space tracers act as motherships and can dock up to four space tourers on their main shaft in order to bring them closer to the new star system. From where each of them can then travel towards their own dedicated planets that are located more close by. I tested several options for the shape of a space tracer, both by blocking them out in flat color and then also by sketching them. Actually, some of these designs were also early versions of what later became a space tour. And well, actually, I'm, as I'm saying this, I hope the difference between their names is not too confusing. Simply, a space tracer is big and a space tour is small. Overall, I'm satisfied with the space travel system. The nomads of the Dead Space Society who travel out of the Umuna system have to make a sacrifice to leave. Trips can take years because even with the very fast light accelerator, used by a space tracer, the distances being traversed are incredibly vast. At the same time, the sacrifice isn't unthinkable, so for nomads dedicating their whole lives to the cause of finding civilization's new home, it becomes kind of worthwhile. I especially like that the system feels fairly grounded, while also paired with some of the more fantastical elements like the light accelerator, which makes it fit in the universe and adds the whimsical aspect that I'm also trying to achieve. So please let me know what you think about it, um, if you've got any other ideas, and thanks for watching.